What's going on you guys? It's your favorite piano teacher, Mike Eswahani, here with a tutorial on Happy Mistake by Lady Gaga. So this is an arrangement I did that's very easy for you to play and sing along to. I broke it down into four parts, the intro and the verses, which is the same part, the pre-chorus, the, the chorus, excuse me, and the bridge. And so what I'll do is as I introduce each part to you, I'll also give you the timestamps as to when they occur in the song. So we're in the key of C major. Let's start out with our left hand. This is the introduction, which occurs happens, which of course happens at the beginning and also at approximately one minute and 29 seconds into the song. We have three on A, one on C, four on G, five on F. And that's basically the left hand there. As far as the right hand goes, what we're going to do is we're going to break down the chords first and play them together. Take fingers one, three, and five. We're going to play this chord. This is called an A minor chord second inversion. Then with fingers one, two, five, barely move. This chord is C major, first inversion. Move up, one, three, five, G major, and then move down, one, three, five, F major. However, what you want to do is you want to break it apart like this. That chord progression I just showed you, break it apart bottom, top, middle, like this. And then the F major chord go like this. And roll it bottom to top like so. So. Let me play the whole thing, both hands for you. This is the intro and the verses. It happens twice total. And then it plays one more time. As I play these parts, try to hear the vocal line too, kind of like karaoke. That's going to help you get acclimated with it when you eventually learn it and sing along. Then the next part is the pre-chorus. It happens at 35 seconds, a minute 53 as well. And so what is the pre-chorus? We take our left hand one, we're going to play D, and then five on F. You're going to hold that for a really, really long time, time, eight counts specifically. Meanwhile, the right hand will play D minor, one, two, and five, first inversion, and you roll it bottom to top like this. And then with one, three, and five, you're gonna play F minor, rolled bottom to top. Here's how both hands of the pre-chorus go. And then it's right into the chorus. The chorus occurs at 43 seconds in, two minutes and one second in, and then again at three minutes and 34 seconds. The left hand of the chorus has finger one on C. You hold it for a total of eight counts, then five down to E for eight counts, four on F, eight counts, and one on C again. And it just basically repeats itself. As far as the right hand, let's break down the chords and play them blocked first. We have one, two, and five playing C major, first inversion. Then one, three, and five playing E major. One, three, and five playing F major. And then back to C major, first inversion. And so how you do actually want to play is from bottom to top and back down like so. Each chord will sound a total of four times bottom to top and back down. Here's how you play both hands of the chorus. And then re 
P. It does change just a little bit at the end. We'll play C major twice here. And then roll it at the end, hold for four counts. And that's the chorus. Finally, the bridge, which occurs at 2 minutes and 47 seconds, is like so. Finger 5 is on F, hold for 8 counts, 1 on C, 4 on G, these are all 8 counts by the way, 5 on F. And that'll repeat itself one more time. As far as your right hand goes, same fashion. Let's talk about the chords first. It's an F major chord. C major, first inversion, 1, 2, and 5. Then here's an interesting one, G major, second inversion. I would suggest using 1, 2, and 4. And back to F major, 1, 3, and 5. And just like the chorus, you'll play it bottom to top like this. Each chord repeating a total of four times before switching. There's our G major, and back to F major. And now here's how both hands of the bridge go. Repeat the bridge. Now the ending is going to be a little bit different. Here's that G major chord again. Here's where it changes. F major twice, and then just roll. And that's it. At the end of the bridge, it'll go back to the chorus, and the chorus will play one time through only with the rolled chord at the end, and that's the whole song. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much. It's your favorite piano teacher, signing off.